here I am, civilization, five piece cell phone tower, which is probably destructive to the entire world and will kill us, but we won't talk about that. And uh, yeah, there's people, there's cars, whatever. The transition I am talking about is what's five minutes up the road. He dropped off pretty much on the side of a wilderness zone. And of course, that's where I'm going. There's no cell phone service. There's be nothing that's like right. you see right here. Then. No lights, no electricity. This is a pretty wild, jungly looking place. And the only route to go is start walking, forge my own trail, and see what lies ahead. Where there's a feeling of there being no trail, it's where there's opportunity for anything to be a trail. Look at this. Just to be alive and able to check out a place of this put togetherness. So I just shed a layer. I'm gonna try to figure out which way the river is now. So I kinda ended up on some kind of animal trail. I had to reroute myself because I wasn't walking towards the river. I was actually walking kind of like along it. This river is surrounded by all of these floodlands, swamps that are just uh, pretty, pretty ongoing. I'm on another pine island here. This is kind of just the reality of exploring and trekking through land that is almost never been touched before. Who knows if someone's ever even hiked these exact footsteps that I'm putting down right now. Like maybe no one has ever stepped on this little ooh, moss island and got stabbed in the back by the side of a sharp pine tree. Maybe no one has ever done that before. And that's where I am today. I'm gonna make this like a behind the scenes sky life episode where I'm trekking through whatever the heck this stuff is for like 30 minutes straight. It's gonna be a video in itself. Ooh, sometimes. When I'm hiking through stuff like this, I ask myself what the heck I'm doing, what I'm looking for out of a trip like this. And you know what I would say to that? What I'm looking for is being shown to me every single footstep I take. This is it. This is why I do it. This is why I do it. This is why I do it. And then what is uh, found later on is just a bonus everything to come in the trip and for all I know I won't catch a single fish in here and that would be hilarious so after getting out of that my body temps are very high I'm sweating I have a t-shirt on and it's snowing and I'm still after about 45 minutes of that have not even caught a glimpse of the river all right, you know what? In most circumstances, I'd be kind of ticked off by a fire road. Like, oh. So this untraversed land is traversed, huh? But today, everything goes. It's fair game. You find a fire road, you're gonna be chilling on it. So if you look way, way over into the distance, that's the third clump of pine trees that I faced. So from here to there, I walked through all this, probably about times four. Fishing is something you could get either as on the surface level into or as deep into as you could possibly want. Ooh, wow, look at all the deer. Oh, they're gonna cross over the trail right here, watch, ready? Right there. It's really, really, really about the journey, every part of it. These trips bring it back though, they make me understand that about what's in each moment. Things that you can appreciate that are accessible right now. I'm not quite alone out here, but there's not much out here. You know, this does not look the troutiest. The debate is coming up for me right now if I wanna just hike it through the woods way farther up the river, or if I wanna kinda test my luck in this really unique spot. And I think I really only have one option because there's not any trail back there and it's just gonna lead into all this stuff. salamander wow these things are incredible they can just survive under the ice 
Yo, buddy, go back home. So if they're a brook shot in here, they have an ample food supply. Conditions back here actually a little more promising than I thought initially. Wow. Look at like it's almost like sod banks here. There's all these cavernous holes that the beavers has dug out. It's pretty freaking cool. This is a pretty good, dang good representation of a source of food that the fish are going to be wanting to see. So far what I'm noticing is I've made the right choice walking up the river because these banks are really easy to hike up. I didn't really know what I was going to be faced with up this way actually. It's kind of crazy when you look at an area on the map. You're like, Alright, that's like four miles roughly up the river. You can get back in two, three miles. It looks like nothing that you expected. Alright, well, here we are. There is no need to think of anything other than what's at hand. I'm going to cast out into this, whatever it is. I'm not very confident right now, though. Got him. Oh my god. Oh my god, fish on. Shoot, do not snap the cat the countdown off. Do not snap the countdown off. There we go. But that's what I get. That's what I get for hiking really far in. Bushwhacking. I'm gonna forget this, this even happened. Lunch break time, baby. This trip is one for the soul. And I'm sitting here on the bank of the creek, having not really any idea what led me here and zero idea of what's to come. Everything today has been pretty unexpected. You know what's really, really, really interesting is that this send right now is a direct reflection of kind of where I'm at in my life. And the mindset and energy that I'm putting off is being shown back to me tenfold right now. It's like, this is a challenging trip for me. Where I want to get isn't somewhere that I can get today. But I'm out here. Just know that at some point or another, on one of these next trips, I'm going to find exactly what I want to find. It just kind of happens naturally. So that's the whole reason why I'm getting out here. I'm taking the effort to create movement in my life and do the things that I know are the most meaningful to me. And we'll see where they eventually all lead to. But it's a pretty exciting yet scary moment to be a part of. And that's where I'm at today as the snow starts to fall more and the wind starts to pick up. I mean, what the heck? My thumb was in front of the video camera the whole time, whatever. So it's getting freaking cold, but hey, I'm gonna fish here and see if I can catch something. I don't know, like, are there any trout in here? Like, do the trout exist? One way that you look at it is that I completely failed today. I didn't hike it efficiently enough to make it up there. I had to turn back before then. And um, another perspective is that I greatly succeeded coming out here a little bit outside my comfort zone to explore an area that could have went, went a wonder of ways. And I chanced it. I took a risk. I put myself out here to find what was not even really a concept yet. It was something that I would just find through the trip. Oh, got a shed. Look at that. It's usually a reflection of something. That's pretty cool, man. You know, I just thought of this. Things naturally fall into place. You find exactly what's presented in the correct moment. And this is my takeaway from the trip. I did end up finding a little piece of what's out here to take away. It's always nice to have that connection with either a fish or something special that you find and just it, it kind of solidifies the experience and sometimes it's nothing physical there are different takeaways and this one the podcast is coming soon because this video is way too much of a podcast the only way i can wrap this one up though and feel like it really goes in line with the entire video of, i came out here today to explore not really in search of anything too specific i had you know the ideas of what i wanted to do on the trip and i've honestly been wanting to find one of these for a long time so I've kind of lightly held the concept in my head that I may or may not stumble across one, but that's exactly how I found this thing. And it was born from my version of the send. The send is something so unique to every single person, but for me, it's coming out here to this. Very much so 
open realm. Anything is possible. It's just shown to me time and time again that what I'm after eventually is kind of presented in one way or another, whether it's how I want it to be, right when I want it to be, probably not, like you saw today. But it always is in one way or another. And it's, uh, it's when you see it that it all comes together. So I'm going to leave it off on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, got something out of it, and I appreciate every single person who puts good energy my way because it's brought out here on, on these trips, it's brought into every part of my life, and I appreciate it big time. I hope that I, I just hope I put that out there to you guys, make those kind of impacts as well. So until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep on doing your thing. Keep on being so immensely grateful and stoked for every single part of life and keep on sending it no matter what i'll see you guys in the next one wow it's it's just mind blown out here i'm gonna be taking this in on the way out and yeah i'll see you guys out there sky life out